up, Internet? Manhunt here again, and I just got my Steam controller yesterday. I ordered it about two months ago. Uh, right here. I'm gonna open it. Well, I kind of already opened it to make sure it was the same controller. This is it, though. It is looking very sleek, very nice. I'm gonna open it for the first time. I did test one of these out at PAX. Oh, stupid tape. Oh, man. What is this? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to play games on this, actually. No, I'm just playing. This is actually it. Steam controller. Very nice. The thing I like about this is that the triggers are on the bottom. You don't have to stop holding it. Like, I mean, like, I mean, not stop holding it, but there's other controls where you know you have to move your fingers up from the holding position, but this one is right where you hold it anyway. It's got L triggers, R triggers. It's got two sets of them actually, plus these ones. They have like three sets of L triggers. That's cool. If you don't know anything about the same controller, it has two, um, both of these pads are touch sensitive. It has a joystick, um, as per usual with gaming controllers. Uh, A, B, X, Y. Steam button, text us by like the Steam menu, and then a left and right button right here. That's very cool. It comes with the uh, USB wireless. It comes with two Duracell batteries. What? Normally they have some off-brand janky shit battery. That's nice. This is high quality. Good job, Valve. I got this little thing from PAX. It's a spitting image though, right? It's the same thing. I'm just going to test out some games, see uh, how well this plays with certain games. I do want to test out um, Rocket League. I want to test out Gauntlet. I want to test out... I also want to do a test to see if it runs with emulators. You know, uh, standard emulators that you download to so see play like older games. With all these things! Fucking me up. Hmm. Open up the back and put in the batteries, of course. How does one open the back? Oh, whoa, Jesus. <laughs> the little trigger on the back side of the light just made this just pop out. It was crazy. Oh, that is fancy. They did a really good job on this controller. As you can see here, they have instructions right here. And there's like these little tabs inside the controller. Just like press up and the battery ejects itself. So you don't have to worry about it, like, you know, you get your fingernails all fucked up when you're trying to get the batteries out and shit. It's stupid. There's just a bunch of pictures. Like, no words. I'm a man, though. I don't need words. I'll figure this out. This picture comes with a cord. I don't see any cord, though, in the box. Hey, look at that. There's a cord. Comes with the cord as well. It's like vibrating. Oh. I'll try the button again. It turned on. Oh, I guess we'll see how it works now. Um, standard 33 is fine. I tried playing this on my keyboard. Awful. Just awful. Don't play. Don't play Rocket League on your keyboard. Controllers. Atrocious. Okay, that's a boost. Let's jump. Oh, there we go. Yes, the right trigger is to go. This is the camera. This is the drift. No! I think it's B to use the boost, which makes sense. Right trigger to accelerate. Left trigger to decelerate. And then the finger trigger. Oh, I mean, it's like the. You know where your hands rest triggers. I'm not sure what to call those. The right one is to lock up the ball. Or Y does the same thing. And the left one is to drift. Yeah! Woo! 
Is that my goal? Aww. Oh. Yeah, it was. What? <laughs> Is that goal? Hell yeah. Woo! Yeah. Fly away. So I really like the controls. The controls are real nice. Okay, that was the other trigger. So I said earlier there was three triggers. This was the very topmost one. Let's switch to the spiders. Spiders. So right here I'm using the touchpad to do what the mouse normally does. Just touching it. It's really cool actually. If I click it. Oh, it changes to the music. What? Get that halo in there. What? Hell yeah. I'm not gonna be racist. The Halo. Okay. I'm trying to test another game now. Now we're playing Gauntlet, Slayer Edition. Um let's start again. New campaign. We'll go uh well normal. Whoa, they added so much more stuff. I'm gonna play this game again. Wait, did they add a new Night Warrior, Valkyrie, Wizard, and Elf? They added a new class! Oh, you have to buy the Necromancer. I don't know if I'm about that life. I'll pick... Pick the Elf. Elf. What? No. What's that? It's not time yet. I would run if I were you. You cannot defeat death incarnate. Where is the shoot button? That's that Elf button. Needs food badly. Should be a regular. Wow. So I have to use the mouse the, the, the touch I wish I had some regular of that shoot. Elf bread. Oh no. It's hard to get used to. This was actually really good. It's a little bit more fluid. I only have to move my hands when I uh, want to do the, the roll, which is B. Oh boy. Roll away. Roll away. Your life force is running out. I'm aware. Die. It's kind of hard to aim with that. Controls on this are a little difficult. Maybe I can change them. Thing, all right. Oh, right. Oh, you're right, you're right. Jump. I've not seen such bravery. Now you have. I don't have any other games I can try.
Flippy, get back here! Flippy, watch out! Bogey on your tail! Well, maybe not for emulators. But that is Steam Controller. Works very well for Steam games. Um, emulators, not so much. <laughs> but it's good. I like it. I like it a lot. That'll be it for this one. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then don't. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorite part of the Steam Controller is. I like the whole thing in general. The mouse sensitivity is a little weird. I'll get used to it. Until next time.